If you're new to our Whistler series, we've spent the last few weeks having some insane adventures. First, we trekked out into the Canadian wilderness in search of some hidden hot springs, and then Abby, as a complete beginner, had an adventure of her own as she took on North America's biggest ski resort. This week we're venturing out to Whistler's famous train wreck hike, trying out some festive drinks, and exploring the magical Valley Lumina Trail. So if you want to watch us take on the extreme cold, get embarrassingly red noses, and invent our own drinking games along the way, stay tuned. But unlike last time, we didn't have a big luxury 4x4, so this adventure begins on the bus. It's two tickets. Okay, so we've just got off the bus. The bus driver's kind of pointed us roughly in the right direction. It always still kind of amazes me how friendly everyone is here. Can't get over it, it's so good. Um, he did say it might be tricky to find the trailhead because everything is covered in snow and we're already lost. The biggest challenge today is going to be the cold. It's, uh, it's about minus 20 at the moment. And it's at the real field temperature because of the breeze and everything. More like minus 25. No, minus 28. Well, oh, minus 28. Because there's an arctic chill in the air or something, I don't know. Uh, it is freezing. This is the coldest I've ever felt, uh, ever, in my whole life, by far. Uh, my, my eyelids are freezing. Uh, my, my, my laces on my shoes are frozen. If the video ends up being good and our equipment doesn't freeze, give us a wee like, because we're risking frostbite here. Okay, so we've made it to the start of the trail to the train wreck hike and I'm really hoping that the woods offer some more protection from the cold because <laughs> I feel like my face is frozen but um, yeah oh, so excited to be going on another adventure out in the Canadian wilderness just seen another sign for bears but um, I think they're hibernating, thank god Okay, now to get to the train wreck, it looks like we have to cross this <laughs> shaking bridge thing covered in snow. Better be careful not to slip in. Okay, so let me talk you through the list of potential problems this cold is presenting with us today. So, the first is operating the cameras with gloves. <laughs> A nightmare. You also can't take these off because in minus 20, minus 25, your hands free really, really, really quickly. It's actually painful even having the gloves on. Um, another challenge is the equipment because none of it's really rated for this level of cold. In fact, it's not really supposed to work very well below zero. So how long our cameras are going to last or hold up, who knows. Slightly more problematic would be if the drone stopped flying, you know, mid-flight. Um, we've already broken one already, so let's hope to avoid another potential expensive I know. <laughs> drone issue. God. And last and most serious on our list of potential issues, is that there's a very real chance of getting frostbite. So we just caught our first glimpse of the train wreck. You can see it in the background. And it is freezing! But it does look unbelievable in the snow. Um, I know a lot of people visit it in the summertime as well but there's nothing more magical than it covered in snow. We found ourselves completely alone at the site and not only were we able to explore the inside of the train wreck but even climb on top of the carriages.
So you can actually go into a lot of these train carriages. Like they're all spray painted on the inside as well. So you can go around, have a good explore. It was only like a short walk as well. So we got the bus here from Whistler, which was like 50 minutes on the number 20. But if you do have a car, then the car park is literally like, I think it took us 15 to 20 minutes. It was really, really close. It was like not a difficult walk or anything by any means at all. So it was definitely accessible for like everyone just to come by and have a look. So you might be wondering how all these train carriages ended up in the middle of the forest. And apparently, as the story goes, back in I think 56, uh, there was a, a train carriage that was trying to make up for some lost time, was a bit behind schedule, and was going twice the speed limit. Couldn't stop, and then the train crashed and derailed. And the company, I think, just didn't really know what to do with them. So I think they managed to salvage five out of, the, out of the 12 carriages that, that crashed, and then the other seven ended up just getting dumped in the forest. And, and then graffiti artists just sort of came along and started spray painting them all. And now it's this awesome feature that everyone just comes to yeah. get their pictures and yeah. yeah. So it's all fun and games in the daytime, but can you imagine coming here? and exploring these at night like inside oh <laughs> i feel like it would feel super sketchy and haunted and also how awesome is this look right down there so this one's like hanging over the side of a cliff this is the reality of visiting somewhere in the minus 25 degrees David is currently jogging around to try and warm up because it is so unbelievably cold. Feeling warmer yet, babe? Oh. <laughs> it's just my hands. <laughs> as soon as you take your gloves off the film, they just like freeze. They don't really heat up again. Despite the temperatures, the old colourful carriages in the snowy forest was a stunningly unique sight and not one we'll forget soon. So I'm not sure how this video is going to turn out in the end. Uh, it obviously has been a much bigger challenge than usual. And every shot has had to be really rushed. So forgive us if it doesn't turn out to be as good as maybe it could have been if it was a summer and we had all <laughs> afternoon to film and stuff. It has to, unfortunately, it's been a rushed visit. Um, but if we come back in the summer, we'll probably do it again. And yeah. Maybe bring a picnic or something, who knows? Maybe. Uh, so, if you want to come here, you absolutely should. Um, maybe not on a day like today. Not quite as cold, the winter is so great. Yeah. Like when it's snowing and stuff, but maybe not like minus sweating. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. How's that for a summary? Yeah, but next, what are we doing? Yeah. So we'll warm up. <laughs> we're heading back to the bus now. Uh, hopefully, we're not going to have to wait too long. And then back to Worcester, yeah. something to eat. And then tonight we're going on the Valley Lumina Night Walk Interactive Trail thing. Yeah. It's meant to be magical. Can't yeah. wait. Can't wait. It's more cold. <laughs> we head back to Worcester Village and perhaps unsurprisingly got distracted. Okay, so we are heading to the Four Seasons because rumor has it, and by rumor I mean Instagram, that the Four Seasons has the most festive drink in Whistler and it's freezing cold so we can't wait to to get warmed up. I know the only problem however is that we don't actually know if it's just something that's complimentary for hotel guests or if it's something that we can go and pay to do so fingers crossed that yeah. we actually get, get yeah. to have a festive drink. We might need to sneak in so <laughs> let's see how this one goes. Okay, so we've got our most festive drinks in Whistler. <laughs> Look at these. 
little snowman. We won't tell you how much they were, but um, we got um, peppermint liqueur hot chocolate and it tastes unreal. Although, as we've mentioned many times in this video, it is like minus 25 and I think mine is already almost cold. <laughs> Cheers. After a little while, we gave up on our cold chocolate and once again head for the bus. After a 20 minute bus journey, we got off at a place called Cougar Mountain, which I thought sounded great. Okay, so we have arrived at the Valley Lumina Trail, which yeah. is like an interactive night walk kind of thing. Is that yeah. right? We don't know a huge amount about it. It's a little bit mysterious on the website, <laughs> but it has great reviews. We know it's a lot of light shows and stuff. Yeah. It's supposed to be all about mystery and beauty of the area. So yeah. hopefully we'll try and get as much as we can. Yeah. Uh, and if you guys want to play a little drinking game, by the way, uh, every time we mention the cold, you feel free to take a drink. Yeah, or absolutely yeah. smashed by the end of this video. Good one. So far, pretty magical. The Valley Illumina Trail tells a story of lost hikers that stumble across a hidden valley where stars fall from the sky, a place filled with beauty, legend, and unexpected enchantment. The trail is around one and a half kilometers long and ends in the base camp cafe where you can sit by the fire and roast marshmallows while you wait for the bus to take you back to Whistler. Go on, you're going. I'm going? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's it for the Valley Illumina Trail. Uh, it was really cool. We don't want to give too much away. Yeah. Um, because it would just ruin it if you're ever planning on coming, but it was really good. The only thing, the only, I guess, slightly negative part is it was a lot shorter than we kind of expected it to be. Yeah, it was around like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, but they did say it was going to be like 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, but, so that, yeah. That may, maybe that's in the summer or something when you, yeah. uh, you're going really slowly. Really slowly, not. but yeah, it is um, minus 25 right now. So. Yeah. so people are walking a lot faster than I guess they normally would. Yeah, our whole group is yeah. back about 20 to 30 minutes earlier than they said. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think the whole group is on the bus waiting for us now, but... It was pretty cool though. It was, it was really, really cool. magical, really cool. Yeah. Um, but now... We are heading home to get warm yep. after a freezing day out. Yeah, we're going to sit by the fire, have a glass of wine, yep. upload our next YouTube video. Uh, our first Whistler one, actually. Our so. first Whistler video, yeah. yeah. How to ski in Whistler for beginners. Yeah. So if you want to see me fall over several times, that's a video to check out. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. But other than that, we will catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.